I have to acknowledge this right now, immediately in this moment. One, yes, I am a fil wearing a fil I am a filter. No, yes, I am wearing a filter right now. But there's something has come to my attention that must be adjust ad adjusted, guys. <laughs> I haven't finished my coffee. Something has happened that I have to address immediately right now in this very instant. So when I got out of the Big Brother house, my life changed, woo, 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 all this attention, all these big, crazy, amazing things are happening, which also includes a plethora of blue checkmark accounts that have followed me, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Guys, you keep saying I'm beautiful. I'm wearing a filter for full disclosure, I'm wearing a filter, using a filter. So yes, many blue check marks following me, very exciting i have just now discovered a separate folder where like all of these people have been messaging me ever since i first got out of the house and i'm just now seeing these messages so i feel kind of bad now there's one person in particular that i noticed followed me in the very beginning and has since unfollowed me and does it actually matter no but i have to point it out because it's so funny to me. Now we're gonna go all the way back to my time in high school. When I was in high school, I had a crush on a certain guy. And remember, I was in high school from 2009 to 2013. So big, big, big Jersey Shore era. Like Jersey Shore was taking over the entire era atmosphere. Yes. Now I had a crush on a guy whose personal idol, personal idol, and again, guys, this is, <laughs> I went to probably white high school. Please imagine. Like, just keep that in mind, you guys. Don't drag me. So this guy said that his idol was Vinny from Jersey Shore. Was obsessed with Vinny. Like, loved, loved, loved Vinny down. And so, <laughs> like, I had a crush on him, on this guy. This guy had a crush on me. And then things just didn't work out for obvious reasons. I think he's, like, super conservative now, which would never align with me. And, and he wrote, you know, I don't know him. I don't know him. Anyway, so I noticed that Vinny followed me when I first got out of the house and I just went back to respond and be like, thanks for the follow. Hey, hey, hey. He unfollowed me. Vinny, Vinny unfollowed me. Or at least when I went to follow him, the little message didn't say follows you or like follow back. You know how you go to follow somebody back that already follows you? Like it doesn't say follow back anymore. So yeah, Vinny unfollowed me, you guys. Mm. <laughs> Which, like, I personally think that's hilarious because I just know that, who's that other guy? Uh, the guy from high school? He's probably like, yes, he unfollowed her. <laughs> but that made me laugh. Oh, someone said he follows you again. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> it made me laugh. It made me laugh. Just last night is when I noticed it. So I liked a couple of his posts and I guess he might have followed me back. I haven't actually noticed. But anyway, so that was very funny. I just had to come on here and publicly acknowledge that because it made me laugh very hard. You guys are saying he was on Dancing with the Stars. He DMs every girl from The Bachelor and every reality show. He's like in tweets right during the season. Aw. Well, I mean, look, yeah, you know I'm happily in a relationship, but it just made me funny. It made me funny. It made me laugh. Thank you, Cinema, for the badge. I appreciate you. Someone else's name is Trailer. Taylor. Hey. Hi. How are you? He's a himbo. We love himbos. This is a pro himbo world <laughs> social media is so strange in a funny way yes yes it is it is very odd and i don't want you guys thinking i came on here to be like mm, this social media person and followed me no it just made me rem it reminded me of a very specific crush in high school <laughs> and i was like oh this guy's probably so happy that i'm he's no longer following me made me laugh made me laugh maybe he was waiting all this time for you to follow back so when you didn't he just unfollow <laughs> maybe who who really cares but wasn't he also flirting with gabby from the bachelorette and i love that for her that girl's a queen can't wait to wear your press on nail collab me too guys i'm still missing a pinky from the uh these are opi press on nails <laughs> i was helping someone get a um so when I landed at DTW a few days ago, I lifted up the suitcase and I like, cause this girl could not get her luggage off the thing, poor, poor girl. And so when I was going to help her, I popped a, popped a nail on, but I did put to my middle and index finger. I was able to re-glue, but the pinky, 
she's gone hope you're feeling great today taylor i'm feeling really good i have had my ridiculous venti shaken espresso and i feel good that man just followed back again lol well Vinny seems cool and now uh, it just it literally just reminded me of that high school crush so that was very funny to me sacrifice a nail to help someone a hero bah. do you have any subs that absolutely shocked you like you can't believe they want to subscribe yes obviously i won't disclose who but yes oh wait there's questions in the box oh wait these are from my stories Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I posted asking you all who you think or what you think the new uh, main stage song is going to be for the runway on Drag Race. And a lot of you said Star Baby. And I just listened to it. And yes, I agree. Starbucks is gross. I love iced coffee, too. Tried Pete's iced coffee. I like Pete's. I mean, I like a lot of different iced coffees, but Starbucks is everywhere. Capitalism, baby. <laughs> okay, I need to keep packing. And my dad actually needs help. He's, my dad is in listening and listening. Guys, <sighs> words are hard today. I don't know why words are so hard today. Um, but my dad actually wants some help because he needs new jeans. So I'm going to go shopping with my dad to get him a couple of new outfits. I have to text him back. Perry! Everyone say hi to my friend Perry. Perry and I used to work together at Trunk Club. Wow, I'm literally talking about being a personal stylist again. Perry used to be a personal stylist with me at Trunk Club. Perry's getting married soon. Congratulations, Perry. Everyone send some love. Here's what I loved about Perry. He didn't give a fuck about anybody. <laughs> that man would clock into his job and he would sit there sometimes on FaceTime on the phone with some friends and just do this job. That man would mind his business and let other people talk their mess, and he would stay out of it. And he was a fabulous stylist, is a fabulous stylist, has amazing personal style. No, Perry, Perry is that man. And I'm just so happy that you found love and you're getting married. And you grew your hair out? You look amazing, baby. I'm so proud of you. Do you want to get married anytime soon? Not anytime soon, no. No, no, no. Oh, but you asked where I'm moving. I'm still in Michigan. So I am getting a, uh, getting my own apartment here in Michigan. Um, you know, I was just traveling so much and with my life being so different now, like all, I get PR boxes all the time, which I'm going to post one I'm really excited about soon. Um, but I get PR boxes all the time. I have a lot of requests to make specific type of content and, I've been living in my mom's house for basically two years now. Like, I, I want my own space, and functionally for all the projects that I'm working on, I need my own space. So, I'm getting my own apartment again. I miss having my own space. I really do. So, this will kind of be my, my creative space. Obviously, it'll be my home. I get to curate exactly what I want. I'm going to be creating a lot more this year. I'm really excited about the amazing things on the plates. And also, I'm traveling so much that it's kind of my own crash pad. I actually felt really bad. I literally come back to my mom's place, and I'm just like, I drop my stuff, I do laundry, and I'm maybe here for maybe five days, and then I'm packing and I'm on the road again. So, yeah. Someone said lesbians love me. I love the lesbians. I am not a lesbian, but I love the lesbians. I love the entire... Alphabet Mafia. I love when you guys call yourselves the Alphabet Mafia. Ooh, okay, a question. How are you all feeling about Drag Race being on MTV? And what are you all thinking about... What's it? What's the WeHo show called? It's like the, the real friends of West Hollywood. Is that what it's called? Where are you at in Big Brother Canada 10? I'm pretty early on. Like, really early on. Where are you moving to in Michigan? I'm not telling y'all. <laughs> oh my god. They cut the episodes to an hour. I'm upset. Yeah, I saw that. So the... Um, what is it? The premiere tonight is two hours, which I'm really excited for. But I'm bummed that the episodes are only going to be an hour. 
Yeah, I saw a lot of pushback against the WeHo show, which is like, I think, look, I am, I'm a straight, cisgendered woman, woman, I really shouldn't be commenting on, like, shows that are for the queer community, like, it's theirs to accept or reject, so I really don't have an actual say in it, but I am excited to see it, because there are a couple people on the show that I really like, obviously, Tatrick is a friend of mine, and I think I'm safe to say this, like, I was staying with Todrick for about like a month after the show and that's around the time when they were filming so I wouldn't be shocked if I'm just like walking around in the background at some point <laughs> so if you if you don't want to watch just maybe like watch if, see if I'm in the background and if I am in the background I'm most likely just like in sweatpants <laughs> I'm probably in the back just like hunched over <laughs> oh my god a lot of people are saying that you guys want to see it on Paramount Plus. I think that'd be really interesting. I'm like, I'm up and down on streaming. When I move, I am definitely, definitely, definitely going to be cutting cable and streaming uh, only for myself. So it'll be interesting to see how I feel about like, where we go. How about a gay showman's on Big Brother? I would love that. Kindly follow me back right now. Was that, was that kind? Chatney, thank you for buying a badge. The shade of them filming in sweatpants. Child, that was all my fault. I, listen. <laughs> listen, I minded my business when I was at Todrick's. I would just stay in a room because I was so tired from all the interviews they had me doing. Like, I loved doing them, but you guys remember, I was like, both back to back to back to back to back all day. So I would literally have like, we called it the work mullet. I would have like a nice cute top on. Actually, sometimes I wouldn't even have a cute top on. <laughs> uh, but I would, yeah, I would have like a cute top on and sweatpants. And then when I was done, I would probably take it off and throw on another top and just like go get a smoothie, come back. I was chilling. Like I was decompressing and chilling. I've heard a couple of people call Todrix the reality star halfway house. Like it's where you go to get reintegrated with society before you move on with the rest of your life. And that is a hundred percent what I was doing. Every hour, a new Taylor interview was dropping. Literally like <laughs> every hour, a new Taylor interview was dropping. And I feel like every 45 minutes I was doing a new interview. Like there was so, so, so much happening. So Yeah. MTV has nothing these days but teenage pregnancies on the challenge. Yeah, I mean, I... The last time I seriously watched shows on MTV was... Like, The Next, Parental Control. What's the other one? Room Raiders? That was the era when I was hooked on MTV. And then once I got off that little train, that's when I, like... The challenge is really taking over. Um, the 16 and pregnant shows, Jersey Shore, like that era. That's when I was like, mm, I'm out. I'm out. No, thank you. Jumped over to Bravo and E became a Bravo and E girly. Oh my God, how ridiculous this is on all the time. Yeah, I'm very here. I just tweet this like very here for the yassification of MTV. Bring it back. Make her gay. Super into it. Danielle Reyes wants to be on Survivor. Uh, that's good for her. <laughs> <laughs> I personally will not be doing it. Yeah, I love this MTV revamp that they're doing. Like, I'm super... I also think, like, it's kind of stale right now. I saw Rachel Swindler's in the building. Hey, boo! So Rachel sent me the sweetest message when I first got out the house. I told you guys, there's an entire folder of all the people who are, like, verified. And I'm just now seeing the folder so i'm trying really hard to like go back in there and respond to people and it's so embarrassing because all their messages are from september 25th 26th 27th like early october and i'm just now responding <laughs> it's like i feel so bad but everyone's been really uh gracious and nice so yeah awkward was i liked awkward um and here's my Something else I actually, I like have, I don't know how I feel about it really. I really liked Made, but now I'm seeing how Made was actually a lot more detrimental for a lot of people than it was beneficial. So, uh. why are you responding so late? Because I just found that folder child and I feel so bad. But like, I'm not just going to let it sit there forever. Dash, hi Dash. Dash was at the after party the night I won the show, the night I snuck out. 
of the hotel to go to the after party that I wasn't supposed to be at. <laughs> there was I was so overwhelmed the night of that um the, the finale and the after party and everything. And there was something about Dash's energy that was just like it was just like magnetic. So hi. Love you, Dash. I didn't watch True Life because True Life felt kind of dark to me. So I don't know. That era I wasn't really into. Like all the I liked Made. I did not like True Life. I did not like Bitch Laguna Beach. Laguna Beach was the show. I liked Laguna Beach. I liked the hills. You know what? I'm actually lying right now because I did get back into MTV a couple of years ago when, uh, what is that show called? You know, I know the name of the show. Siesta Key. When Siesta Key first got on MTV, I was like, we're try- I see we're trying to do Laguna Beach here. I see what we're doing here. And I was here for it. And Madison actually messaged me the night that I won. And apparently she's a big, 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 big brother fan. So it was really cool to kind of shoot her a message. Because, like, I've been watching her for a couple of years now. And then she messaged me and was like, I love you. You're amazing. Da, 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 da. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, girl, I've been gossiping about you and your storyline for years. <laughs> Do you listen to Kristen and C? I don't know. I don't listen to anybody's podcasts who were on The Hills or um, Laguna Beach, any of those shows. Oh, love you, Dash. Cribs was great, but we're talking the OG Cribs era. Punked was a great one. We're talking OG Punked era. Yeah, those were good times. Those are good times. My picks are worthy. Thank you for buying a badge. So yeah, I like... Like, MTV has its ebbs and flows. I think if they... Personally, this is what I would like to see out of MTV. I I love actually no are you the one is on Paramount Plus now which I guess makes sense I wish they would do like a gender fluid season again or like a pansexual season that was pretty good um and I could see why that's on Paramount Plus damn Jen Saw got six and a half years mm. Mm, mm, mm. that's on her next when it was gays dash did you just see that I retweeted that the clip of next when it was all gays I would saw off my left foot so I could host next and we could do like all genders all sexualities obviously I would scream like that that is my niche right there if I could host next bring it back I didn't watch the trailer for are you the one um but my friend Cammy's hosting go Cammy, love her and she's got catfish too like she's Cammy's killing it I'm really excited for her. Yes, I would saw. Electric saw, baby. The iconic no fake orgasm shirt. Of course. We love the lesso over here. The judge clapped back. She's she tried to say she focused on doing good things she did for her victims. Next did not have a host, but you know, new eras. That's all new eras. Catfish was everything. That was personally not for me. They had a narrator on that. That's what I thought. So if, yeah. Now that you say narrator, it makes me think of uh, Michelle on the Circle. But I think like I just like, let me host it. I could host it. That'd be fun. I liked Room Raiders. Room Raiders would be really interesting. I think they're like. <laughs> I think about this all the time. Like, what are shows? that could not exist in this era and so often I always say like room raiders could never exist right now or like next could never exist in this era or uh parental control that could never exist but honestly I kind of think they could and it would be really really interesting I think room raiders there's gotta maybe like I don't know because if you sign up for it like you know you're gonna get kidnapped like I got kidnapped for a big brother I didn't get black bagged and thrown into the back of a truck but I think there's a way where you could definitely surprise someone and take them away and do the same setup like have someone go and explore their room and all that stuff like I think room raiders could exist 
oops, I almost blocked somebody by mistake. That was a mistake. I think next could be revamped and done really well. And I think like, I think any of these shows really could be revamped to fit today. I actually think that next would do really well because next could be like a, obviously you would have to call it next, but it would kind of be in that vein of like red flags, you know? So I think instead of people being like, even if they next somebody for shallow things, people could just be like, that's a red flag for me. <laughs> Personally, that's a red flag because I used to date somebody and then da da da. And I just know to avoid that at the first sign. Da 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 da. You could even bring in like a psychologist at the end of it. I don't know. I think there's some really cool things that you could do there. So MTV, where's my contract? Let me, let me call them up. Let me call up Paramount, CBS. Put me in, coach. Where's my agent? <laughs> Remember when they attempted to redo TRL? You can't redo TRL. Like, people don't show up for music videos in the same way. Honestly, I forget the music videos even exist, which is sad because I love music videos. I wish that there was, like, a good... Here's what we need. For the cultural reasons, we need VH1, I love, an era. Because there's so much cultural knowledge that millennials have because of those programs. We need that back. <gasps> Bring on a therapist and an astrologer. Whoever said that, iconic. Yes, a therapist and an astrologer involved in Next. It would make it amazing. But anyway, we need like those cultural to- touch points again because you need to educate people so they have the references of current music. So yeah, we need I Love, Whatever Era. We need... Um, at least two hours in the morning. We need two hours in the morning of just music videos. Because here's the thing. When I go to like someone's house party or some event or like even a restaurant and there's music videos playing in the background, I'm kind of like, oh, oh, I didn't even know this had a video. Wow. I oh oh wow, I like this. Like that's interesting. But I don't have that touch point because I'm not I don't have things just playing music videos in the background anymore. I don't search that out. You literally have to search it out these days. Where when I was growing up, we to say that. But when I was growing up, it's always just on. Like there are a few channels that you turn tune into for cultural relevancy and MTV used to be that. Or even, like, okay, and I'm talking specifically about MTV, but let's talk about and think about the places where you go for cultural relevancy. Streaming channels, yes, but, like, if the commercials on Bravo and E! were just music videos, remember when people did that? Music videos during commercials? Uh, An era. Anyway, that's how I feel about MTV. Paramount... It's after the holidays. Y'all are back at work. Let me give these people a call. I have some ideas and they need to listen to me. <laughs> okay, I really just came in here to complain about Vinny unfollowing me, but also just laugh about my high school crush, which LOL. Um, but I guess he followed me back again, which is, again, very funny. So I love you guys. Um, I need to pack and then I need to go help my dad find some new jeans. Love you guys. Be kind. Don't be nice. Be kind. You know there's a difference. All right. Peace later, bye.